The moment Maximilian Mist decided to manipulate his audience into attacking Charlie's stream for no reason marked the beginning of the end for his very successful YouTube career. From being exposed as the ringleader for one of YouTube's most toxic communities, all the way to deleting his million sub YouTube channel and disappearing for over a year. The name Maximilian Mist has gone down in internet history as a creator who weaponized his platform for selfish amusement and paid a very hefty price. But how does a beloved Fortnite YouTuber known for making light-hearted trolling videos in in here go get the car just a car in here spare car go oh bye no! bye bye become one of the most hated YouTubers on the platform. Well, it all came crumbling down with just one Penguin Zero video. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be investigating the role Charlie played in the massive downfall of Maximilian Miss, YouTube's most hated troll. Max created his main channel, Maximilian Miss, on the 24th of August 2011. However, his story on YouTube didn't truly start until the 3rd of March 2013, when he uploaded his first video playing the Half-Life 2 mod Hidden in a video titled People Raging Over Friendly Fire. Despite not even having a mic yet, many of the traits that would go on to define his career were present in the first few videos. His ability to provoke other players to draw out a reaction, and a passion for shooter type games took center stage as he transitioned from Half-Life 2 over to Team Fortress 2. While these video formats brought Max some attention, it wasn't enough for him as he stopped uploading on the 23rd of May 2013. It wouldn't be until the 25th of September 2014 that a certain indie game named Five Nights at Freddy's rejuvenated Max's will to create content. Max didn't know it yet, but that game would go on to make for up to 90% of his uploads going forwards, taking him from under 1,000 subscribers to over 10,000 subscribers by the start of 2015. Throughout the year, Max didn't hesitate to make the most of Five Nights at Freddy's meteoric rise in popularity, with videos such as Five Nights at Freddy's New Chica Model and New Bonnie Jump Scare. He even purchased a microphone to further improve the quality of his videos. Is this real? or fake. What the f What the hell? For a while, Max enjoyed a degree of success that he only could have dreamed for at the start of his channel. But as Five Nights at Freddy's popularity came and went, so did the growth of his channel. Every subsequent upload brought in fewer and fewer views, until he had to abandon the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise entirely in late 2015. Once again, Max was in desperate need of a popular game franchise that would bring in consistent viewership. And with that being said, he spent over a year searching for one. Luckily for Max, a newly released team-based multiplayer first-person shooter shooter called Overwatch would provide him with the engagement he very much so craved. His first upload centered around Overwatch was titled Losing My 10 Placement Matches in Overwatch, Road to Bronze, published on the 8th of December 2016. The video brought back Max's trolling nature from his TF2 days, and this time it was even worse. So from the thumbnail and the title of this video, you probably guessed that I'm trying to reach the lowest rank ever. And what better way to do this than to lose all 10 of my first matchmaking matches. Throughout the video, Max would do more than just trying to lose on purpose, but also trying to actively provoke his teammates. Max, can you stop uh, trolling please man, just play. Oh, I'm not trolling, I'm not trolling, I'm playing serious. Where are the enemies? Where are the enemies? I, I'm new to the game, I don't know. I don't know who's an enemy or who's my friend. Is this guy my enemy? Is this guy my enemy or is this guy my friend? I think that guy's my enemy. The video was a massive hit with fans and garnered over half a million views. Naturally, this encouraged Max to continue with trolling other players for views. From December 2016 to July 2017, Max made a name for himself in the Overwatch community for being an incredibly toxic player who was willing to trash talk and troll everyone he came across. It was also around this time that a community began to form around Max and his strange brand of content. With this, he created a Discord server for his fans and like-minded trolls that 
shared his sense of humor. While this form of edgy humor garnered him an average of 300k views per video coupled with a loyal fan base, it also attracted the attention of the game's developers, Blizzard Entertainment. At the time, Overwatch had a serious issue with toxicity within its player base, and the developers were willing to take any method necessary to handle the problem. In Blizzard's eyes, Max was one of the players perpetuating the toxicity plaguing Overwatch, and they began to take action against his behavior. By the 12th of August 2017, Blizzard began monitoring Max's channel and banned each of his accounts as soon as he uploaded a video. In his typical comedic style, Max decided to make light of the situation by making videos with titles like banned for being nice in Overwatch, banned in Overwatch for nothing, and banned for being positive in Overwatch. However, the cycle of creating new accounts and immediately getting banned eventually took its toll on Max, which caused him to quit playing Overwatch entirely. I need somebody to replace me. So if you're a fan, if you're a viewer and you've been enjoying my videos and you want to repay me somehow, just do me one favor and become an Overwatch YouTube troll. For the third time in his online career, Max was forced to drop a game that defined the content on his channel. Only this time, it wasn't due to a decline in viewership, and instead was a result of his reckless trolling going too far. As hopeless as the situation might have seemed, Max would once again jump ship to a game that would take his channel to new heights in terms of subscriber counts and viewership. However, that same success would bring some unintended consequences that posed a threat not to just him, but to other creators around him. By the 27th of February, 2018, Max diverted his attention to start creating trolling videos around Fortnite, with the first video being titled, Acting Dumb in Fortnite Then Carrying. Ba, 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 Hello? Ba, ba. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me, bro? Yes. Help me, help me. Oh my god, you died, noob, noob, noob. No, you don't. Yes. No, you do not. Don't lie to me, bitch. I look like to you. You are lying to me. You coming with that? What? Compared to other games that Max had showcased on his channel, Fortnite was within a league of its own in terms of popularity. For context, Fortnite had around 200 million players within its first years of release. This not only gave Max a limitless supply of diverse players to torment with his racist and sexist remarks, but also a massive viewer base of impressionable children who were interested in his edgy humor, a demographic that Max knew was gullible enough to follow his toxic lead. In the months that followed, Max's subscriber count skyrocketed, eventually leading to 400,000 subscribers in June of 2018. It was also around this time that Max uploaded a video with the title, I ran into PewDiePie in Fortnite and he was kinda rude, which would mark the start of two very prominent things in his career. One, his willingness to clickbait and manipulate his audience. And two, his trolling antics resulting in a viral meme. With regards to the first point, at the end of the video, Max asked his audience to lie about seeing PewDiePie in the video. As for the second point, a brief clip of Max saying oh yeah yeah over and over again would evolve into a viral meme. Oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah. Do you like my song? Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah. Oh yeah yeah, 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 oh yeah yeah. The Oh Yeah Yeah music video got over 13 million views within 8 months, and the sheer virality of the meme boosted Max's subscriber count to 426k to over 534k in only a matter of weeks. This showed Max that he had a great deal of influence and notoriety, especially when it came to his quote, loyal fans. By the 21st of June 2018, Max published a video titled, Watch This If You're a True Fan, in which he decided to test how much influence he had over his fans by telling them to use his profile picture. Make this your profile picture and you will have eternal luck. You will always be happy. You will always be successful. Everything you do will be easy. You will be like a god. You've been sleeping your whole life, but I just woke you up. Be wise and make the right choice. As you'd expect, thousands of his followers did exactly as he requested, and while this seemed like nothing more than a harmless joke, it was becoming obvious that his audience were willing to do anything Max told them to do. Combine this with the fact Max didn't seem to have any resistance when it came to regulating his own behavior online, it was only a matter of time before he decided to use that influence in a less than honorable manner. It started off small, with Max threatening to mobilize his fanbase to quote, go psycho on KSI if he didn't change his profile picture and join them. Side. 
You mess with the wrong army. This is not Logan Paul or some dumb bush track. You do not understand how powerful we are. But since we're nice guys, we're gonna give you one last option before we go crazy mode. Hey Sai, make this your profile picture or we will go psycho mode on your ass. You have 24 hours to do it. If you do not agree to our demands, too late. Unfortunately, this would be one of the mildest ways Max weaponized his audience. Whilst editing this video, I got a notification from a service I haven't used in months, saying something along the lines of, your subscription has renewed, a $20 payment has been processed. Now, I'm sure I'm not alone when you get these stupid emails where your money's being taken out for something you're not even using anymore. This is why I'm excited to talk about today's sponsor, Rocket Money. It's an incredible app that's helped me with my subscriptions that I no longer use, keep the bills down, and better manage my finances. Using Rocket Money, I found subscriptions that I no longer use and cancelled them right through the app. No more hassling with customer service, replying to emails after emails trying to cancel stuff. Rocket Money makes it as simple as that. And guess what? It's also helped me negotiate some of my bills down, and it's been a complete game changer for my budgeting. You can start for free at rocketmoney.com slash internet anarchist, or click the link in the description. So don't miss out on saving money. Check out Rocket Money today and sort out your finances. Now back to the video. By the start of 2019, Max would reach the 1 million subscriber milestone, and immediately begin his campaign of harassment. One of his first victims was a streamer by the name of Weast, who spoke out about Max's toxic behavior. In retaliation, Max and his community routinely raided his stream and directed harassment towards Weast's girlfriend after her father passed away, with comments on the GoFundMe page stating, Ron bout to be gone. Max is better. Ron looks like the guy from Jurassic Park if he had Down syndrome. And Max is better than Ron times two. To add insult to injury, Max also mobilized his community to impersonate Weast and go into various streamers' Twitch chats to spam hateful or racist comments, in hopes of smearing the streamer's reputation. To help remedy the situation and spread awareness, Weast made a Twitter thread to discuss what had been going on, and to apologize to everyone that was affected. So, I wanted to apologize to any streamers on Twitch who think that I have been harassing them. Um, so, what is actually happening is uh, this YouTuber that I've talked about many months ago, Maximilian Musk. He's a Fortnite YouTuber, and he is uh, most notably f uh, popular for his oh yeah yeah meme. That's pretty much what people know him as. Well, I know him as a scumbag who uses his audience to harass people online. And I've talked about it before, and I, I personally interviewed this guy, and that's why he targets me, because he sees me as a threat. Um, he is using his Discord server to uh, harass these people, uh, to go to their streams and and say uh, transphobic and homophobic and just general distasteful things now he does this on twitch specifically because he knows that th these people are going to report my channel and they're gonna you know uh ultimately get me banned from twitch which would make me lose 90 percent of my income um to fully get the point across, Weast shared some of the recent messages from max's discord server that show the true source of the never-ending harassment as these three who were sitting in the Discord server and getting Maximilian's uh, very, uh, I mean, a small Discord server full of very dedicated 12 year olds, I can assume, to go to these specific streamers and uh, harass them. Uh, right here, Rich Campbell, uh, Alinity of all people, my friend Blue Stank. Also, this is not me. This is Max or one of his friends using my profile picture and my name. Even the yellow that I use in my Discord server, you can see it's actually the same, close to the same yellow that I use. Uh, to to go to these streamers and and tell his viewers to say terrible things in their chat and say that they're from me, and it's not. And I, I want to apologize to those streamers that are affected by this because this is not me. This is a scumbag with over a million subscribers on YouTube who will never, ever, ever talk about this on his main channel because he's a coward and he hides behind his anonymity and his, uh, his audience who he... To cover his tracks, Max deleted everything on the server and moved his community elsewhere to continue the harassment campaign. A few days after the incident, Max was asked about the situation and he had these kind words to say. You're absolutely okay, even though you didn't think you were going to do it with ending this guy's career, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something, okay? Um, I did this to piss him off, but mm -hmm. if this got his Twitch taken down, um, I would have been happier than with what happened right now really i, I really don't care that you much, don't honestly. well i gotta be honest I, with you i don't care in the sense that uh he tried to do this to somebody else but yeah in in, in the grand scheme of things it's it's wrong you, you don't think it's wrong 
to do that to uh, to, to, to mess with somebody's well-being, their their livelihood. Well, I, I think it's so over-exaggerated because, like, um, okay, let's say that did happen. Okay. What's next? He'll just get a job and move on. You know, it, it's not like I'm gonna ruin his life. <laughs> Max's quest for sick amusement was insatiable, as he would later force a mentally ill individual to eat his own, uh, body chocolates on a video call that he was broadcasting to his fans. So, hold, Mr. BTFO, close to your mouth. It's time to eat him. Just <laughs> Don't eat him, just push through, you don't give a fuck. Eat Max had no remorse when it came to using his massive platform to harm the lives of others. If Max wanted to get a cheap laugh out of using his legion of loyal fans to raid your streams and ruin your career that you spent years building on, then so be it. It's more than safe to say that Max felt invincible, and that he could do whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted, without consequence. But unfortunately for him, there always are some type of consequences. And this time, it wasn't someone else's career at stake, it was actually his own platform on the line. On the 18th of February 2021, as Max was carrying on with his usual campaign of harassment, he decided it would be a good idea to troll Moist Critical, aka Charlie's livestream. Um, uh, wait, just go here and type Maximilian Mus. Just type Maximilian Mus. Alright, bet. That's it. And oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Maximilian Mus, oh yeah, yeah. Wait, keep fucking type. Wait, a lot of people can still type though. Keep typing, keep typing, keep typing. <laughs> Type Maximilian was. <laughs> Type, we own this chat now. We own the chat now. This room is in 10 minute follower. What? Wow. After Max and his fans finished trolling his stream, Charlie decided to drop a very shocking allegation about Max and his community. One that could spell the end of his edgy career if found to be true. Remember when he took over YouTube for a bit? Yeah, and then he started sharing child pizza. in his Discord. Oh my god, what is... Then. Did you hear what he just said? <laughs> what? The very next day, Charlie released a video titled, This is the Worst YouTuber, in which he brought to light many of Max's past wrongdoings, such as his numerous harassment campaigns. His name is Maximilian Muss. He's the oh yeah yeah guy, it's the only thing he's ever done, it's the 15 minutes of fame that he continues to milk the very dry titties of to this day, to command a troop of 13 year olds to harass, dox, threaten, and do all kinds of deplorable shit to other people online. From all sizes, people that have two viewers on Twitch, to big streamers, to big content creators, he does some absolutely degenerate shit and I truly think he is one of the most vile, foulest people to ever use the platform and abuse the the power that he found online attempts to humiliate people and yeah this is some horrible shit, but it gets worse he also would have his followers go to other people's channels and force them to do things like there was a man that had a that he went to the channel and forced him to eat his own chocolate on stream he was threatening and having his community threaten to find and kill him if he didn't do everything max said bullying smaller creators there was also this content creator that Max targeted, a very small creator who was just making some things because he was having fun. He took his whole community to bully the shit out of him relentlessly. He ended up crying and profusely apologizing, begging for the bullying to stop, which, of course, Max didn't. Forgive me. Just please stop. Up. Harassing me, please. I beg for forgiveness. Please have mercy. Please. As well as presenting some new allegations regarding some activities on Max's Discord server involving cheese pizza. And that brings us to the reason and the biggest problem I have with Max and why I'm making this video today. He's recently popped his head out after hibernating for over a year, stewing in his own bodily fluids and filth, and he wanted to feel powerful again. So he set up another Discord to have people go in and harass streamers, and I was one of the targets. And when they targeted me, I mentioned saying Max Gang is like saying you're proud to be a file. And the reason why I said this is because Maximilian himself will tell you the reason he remakes the Discord so many times is because his community shares so much child pizza that he has to take it down because he worries that he himself will get arrested for it. Unfortunately, Max has scrubbed his entire Reddit and made it private, so all of the posts that were talking about the child plague that was sweeping through Maximilian's community, they're no longer there. His his own posts about his stance on it are no longer there. However, I did find one thread that he overlooked where it does talk about it. It's this right here where they're talking about someone that was sharing child 
and that was the reason it was taken down. This is the only one that survived the purge of Maximilian subreddit, and I don't know how Max handles these things these days, but back then, he used to defend it, saying that the sharing of child is just an inside joke of his community. While Charlie was yet to provide rock hard evidence of Max fostering cheese pizza, there were countless times in the past where he either called himself a P word or endorsed it. Discriminations. Yeah. We need to end discriminations uh, against smokers and files. I'm a proud profile and profiles discrimination or okay, people yeah. too. Okay, I, let me add to something. Uh, if pedophilia is wrong, then why is there a phrase that goes by the words "hello, baby"? Why do people say "baby" if babies aren't? How do you explain that one? Do you have a problem with my lifestyle? So what? I had if with a baby. The baby liked it. If I'm not supposed to with babies then there was also the matter of max claiming to find someone to quote kill charlie because of the exposed video Within days of Charlie's exposed video going live, Max lost a staggering 50,000 subscribers, and many more were soon followed. In a now deleted response video, Max attempted to counter Charlie's points by stating that there was no evidence. Maximilian himself will tell you the reason he remakes the Discord so many times is because his community shares so much child Cheese pizza. that he has to take it down because he worries that he himself will get arrested for it. This is literally just straight up a lie, hence why he doesn't show any screenshots or clips to back up his statement, because I've never ever said anything of this sort. He claimed that he didn't even have a Reddit account. Unfortunately, Max has scrubbed his entire Reddit and made it private, so all of the posts that were talking about the child plague that was sweeping through Maximilian's community, they're no longer there. Here's just more lies. I literally don't have a Reddit account. I don't own my subreddit. And also, he's literally implying that if this was to ever happen, that people would only talk about it on my subreddit. Therefore, making it a very convenient thing for him to say, Yeah, it happened on Reddit, but the Reddit's gone, so I guess all the evidence is gone. If this shit was actually happened, it would be all over. It wouldn't just be on one specific subreddit. As well as attempting to defend his harassment campaigns on Twitch. And having them go to streamers' streams and spam racist and homophobic shit by his orders and spam Max Gang with it, hoping to get the streamers banned for it. Now this is true, we did go to a lot of streams and spam and do cringy stuff, but I don't know why he assumes that I wanted them to get banned, that was never a goal. And from what I remember, some of them did get banned, but the ones that didn't just had a really bad time. Literally nobody we rated got banned, I don't know why he's saying this, but it's whatever. And finally, explaining why he asked someone to eat, quote, chocolate during a video call. Also would have his followers go to other people's channels and force them to do things, like there was a man that had a mental illness that he went to the channel and forced him to eat his own chocolate on stream. Again, this is straight up a lie. There was no live stream. It was a private Discord call. He was threatening and having his community threaten to find and kill him if he didn't do everything Max said. This is another lie with no evidence. There was no threats. There was no, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, we're gonna find you. Anything going on. Before I continue, I wanna explain the context of that call. This man is JMA. He's known for calling literal police stations and calling in bomb threats, claiming responsibilities for mass shootings, uh, also sending pizzas to people's houses. It was my literal second interaction with him. I knew barely anything about him at the time except for these things. And he turned his camera on. He was already doing weird shit. And then I told him to eat his own shit. And I was acting impressed. And I was like, oh my God, you're so awesome. And this is what people are saying. I forced him and that I said I was going to kill him if he wasn't going to do it and shit like that. Like, yes, I encouraged him. It was definitely weird. But there's a huge difference between saying, oh, hey, eat your own shit and somebody does it versus saying, you got to do this or I'm going to kill you. Oh, yeah, I'm bringing my fans in here. We're going to kill you. There is literally nothing of that. I didn't force him at all. Naturally, the internet was set ablaze, with people talking about the situation and several other creators beginning to look into the events that had transpired. Now, because of this off-platform behavior, Max's discords are... Uh, they, they sort of come and go, okay? Like, they, they get removed, they get brought back. It's a whole wild case. There have been people who are sharing Maximilian pr Discord, like, proof of sharing inappropriate content. Now, Charlie made a video, you know, I mentioned earlier, where he made a bold claim that said that there's things like, you know, child material being shared on his Discords. Now, I'm not going to co-sign with that on Charlie, simply due to the fact that that is a very, very bold claim. Unless you have an actual, like, proof sitting right in front of you, then you can go 
and accuse as much as you want. But for me, I'm going to go with Max's explanation, as hard as that is to can say, who, where Max shared, this is the reason his discords get taken down. Discord is focused on ma maintaining a safe and secure environment for our community, and our account has been flagged by the community for violations of TOS. What well, violations? Engaging in or posting cur content encouraging the harassment of individuals or communities, threatening to harm another person or sharing content, which was threatening another person, or doxing. Max was now backed into a corner and losing subscribers by the hour. But not just that, he was also receiving strikes to his channel. After receiving two strikes due to people reporting his channel, Max decided that the only way out of this predicament was to temporarily delete his channel, but that wouldn't be before making this community post. I'm gonna delete my channel. I'm not a p-word and I never said cheese pizza is okay, but I've done a lot of bad stuff over the years and I've broken YouTube's TOS like some ordinary gamers says. It's a miracle my channel's still up because over the years I've probably got a total of 15 strikes. Some random innocent person is being doxxed because people think I'm him. My actual name is not even Maximilian, so the people trying to play heroes are being insanely reckless. But even previous to this, I thought about quitting a lot and I've been close to deleting my channel many times before. I haven't enjoyed YouTube very much, even previous to this, and I think this is the bang to end it with. Feel free to archive any of my videos you want. I had a great run. You'd think that this would be the end for Max, and for a time it was, but he only temporarily deleted his videos and purged all of his content. By the 23rd of March 2021, he reinstated his channel, and Charlie was right there waiting for him. Max is a human pinworm, just an asshole shit eating parasite. In response to the video I posted, he started losing a lot of subscribers, and his fragile insecurities couldn't handle his number going down, so he deleted his channel and then put it back up today, hoping that enough people had forgotten the controversy so they'd stop unsubscribing to him in mass. Max has clearly tied a lot of his self-worth to the numbers on the screen and couldn't bear to see the numbers going down any longer, especially since it's entirely his own fault and it should take full responsibility for the actions that caused all of this in the first place, but he doesn't have that level of self-awareness. So when Max was seeing the numbers go down, he threw in the towel for a month, took a break, and today, just like a gopher, he decided to pop his curious little head out of his hole, and he saw a shadow and decided it's time for two more hours of YouTube drama. For the remainder of the video, Charlie covered three main points regarding his allegations about Max. One, he counters Max's claims of slander by providing further details regarding what went on in the Discord server. So I want to get ahead of this and just do a full goatsy and just go fully in here and give you all of the information about Max that has also been shared with the proper authorities. In Max's response, he harps on three major things, the first being a screenshot I posted for a few seconds that he claims is a fake screenshot. Now, I'm not going to be here and get into the weeds of it and split hairs. It's entirely possible that is a fake screenshot. Screenshots are very easily faked, and I don't work for an FBI's crime lab. I can't verify the authenticity. I can't go in there in the fucking blockchain and piece together the puzzle pieces and see if it's real. I can't say with certainty whether or not it's real. So if it is fake, then I should have done more to verify its authenticity, and I do apologize for that. But what I can say with certainty is there was very clearly a problem with how women were treated when his, in his community. Uh, after posting the video, I received no less than 50 to 100 emails from victims of Max and Max's community in the Discord. These were women that came forward all sharing very similar stories and talking about the horrible things that they would encounter in that Discord when they would try and speak. Uh, they were oftentimes goaded into sexually explicit conversations and try often baited for foods. They'd try and get like foods out of them or something like that. They shared a lot of information and a lot of disturbing screenshots of conversations in the Discord, none of which I will be sharing here to protect their privacy, but again, those have all gone to the proper channels. So there's very clearly a problem with the way that Max and his community would treat women that were inside of the Discord. Now, if this screenshot is fake, again, I do apologize and I should have done more to make sure that I was sharing only the facts, the most accurate information and this one is now questionable, so I shouldn't have put it in there. Two, he corrected his point on how Max was threatening a mentally ill individual and instead stated how Max manipulated him. And three, Charlie brought forward some evidence to support his claims of cheese pizza being shared in Max's server. So let's go ahead and really dive in. First, let me show you how it got to this point. Why was cheese Charlie pizza shared on Maximilian's Discord? Why were pedophiles encouraged to join? Well, because Max was pretty open with these kind of things. Like, here's a clip from one of his old Fortnite videos. What? Are you a pedophile? Of course. Me too, dude. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. I met a pedophile friend. Yeah, yeah. There's I'm... probably like two other kids on our team. I was gonna say, let's test them, but then my video would get age restricted. And yeah, I'm recording a video. I have 200 subs. Say hello to YouTube. Bro. Hello, YouTube. 
little boys in their <laughs> What? Yo, the boys, boys, let's go! Taking home! People are gonna watch this in the future. I'm live streaming for the future, man. I don't, guys, when I say I have sex for the children, it's a joke. Wink, wink. Of course. Wink, wink. Many winks. Where'd you guys land? Max used to, and still currently does, joke about being a pedophile. And like I said in the initial video, used to write off the sharing of child porn in his servers as a joke with his community, and that it wasn't a big deal. So, like I said, he used to defend the sharing of cheese pizza in his servers as a joke, and I'll go ahead and show a few screenshots of that. But first, let me prove to you that it used to be shared. Mudahar, who's a man I trust dearly in situations like this, who has worked in cybersecurity for fucking years, it is his fucking profession. If anyone can verify the authenticity of something this heinous, it would be Mudahar. And Mudahar sent this message to confirm it's real, and this has of course been forwarded to proper authorities as well. To close out the video, Charlie decided to directly address Max's attempts at garnering sympathy with a few wise words of his own. Genuinely have no idea what you're talking about with this pity party you're trying to throw about being a better person. If you really tried, you failed instantly. Like, it wasn't even close. There seems to have been no attempt to be a better person. Again, all the shit that started this happened a month ago, Max. That was the whole reason I even went back through your past is because you were doing this horrible shit, having your community raid streamers spamming homophobic and racist shit a month ago, and this SWAT was a couple months ago. You have not improved. You haven't come close. You haven't tried. You are still an absolute fucking scumbag, and I don't know why you're trying to even defend these awful fucking things you've done. They are indefensible. I don't know how people would even try and defend you. The guy whose video that you lifted in your own video, I feel like he is not on your side. He called you shitty multiple times. The only thing he didn't like is that I didn't share cheese pizza to prove your guiltiness. I don't know what exactly he was going on with there, but hopefully what I've shown here enough is enough to convince even him. Because I feel like there's no way that you can possibly defend these things that you have done. And this is all your fault, by the way, Max. I'm not doing anything to you. I am just bringing what you have done to people's attention. People don't want to support someone like you, Max, that has done these things. People in your own community didn't feel safe, and they reached out to me to tell me some of the shit that you've done. Your close friends were reaching out to me to shit on you, Max, because of the things you've put them through, made them do, and the things that you told them and did together. Like, there is a very big problem with you, Max, and what you've done with the community you've built. And I don't know how you even managed it for this long, because this shit is heinous. It's fucking disgusting stuff. There was no coming back from this for Max. His years of harassment and trolling had finally caught up with him. And now, everyone on the internet was against him, and the channel he spent the last decade crafting was in a shambles. However, Charlie's representation of the story wasn't completely true, as shown in a video posted by the user BooBoo64 on the 14th of August 2023, titled The Truth About Moist Critical, Life Ruining Lies. The video outlines many of the flaws in how Charlie handled the situation, such as exaggerating on the point about Max threatening the man to eat his own chocolate on stream. Now that we're all caught up, let's start breaking down some of the accusations. Starting with the claim that Max threatened the life of a mentally ill man on stream and forced him to eat his own shit. The full video of this incident is still publicly available, and although I can't really put it in the description for obvious reasons, if you do decide to watch it, you will see that this claim was greatly exaggerated because not only is the video in a private call and not on a stream, but also, and way more importantly, there are also no threats at any point. In his response video, Max pointed out both of these misconceptions, and even if Critical still insists that it was on stream, for some reason, he does admit that he was wrong about the threats. However though, what Critical says afterwards is what really worries me. I was wrong to say he threatened him. He only manipulated him, which is, you know, that's a lot better. So congratulations, Max, you're taking steps in the right direction. You only manipulated a mentally ill man into eating his own sh Wow, that, that, that's my bad. I'm, I didn't mean to misrepresent you and slander you like that. I mean, yes, it's obvious that treating a mentally ill man to do what he did is awful, even if it's in private. But it's not nearly as bad as making him scared for his life as he's publicly humiliated in front of his own audience. And I think this one goes without saying, but the situation that Critico described is far more traumatizing than what actually happened. Claiming that Max was sharing cheese pizza when it was actually being spread by other rogue users. Proceeding, since Critico's first video had little to no relevant evidence against Max, I will only be focusing on his second, in which he showed three very important screenshots 
starting with this one from Mutahar, where he essentially confirms that there was CP in Maxi servers. And considering the video that I'm making, it might sound surprising to you that I actually 100% believe the contents of this screenshot. Seriously, I have no reason to believe that Mutahar is lying. And considering all the Reddit screenshots, it seems hard to deny that there were people who at some point shared illegal material in Max's Discord. However, Critical didn't just say that there was child at some point, or that a few people shared that type of content in Max's servers. What Critical said is that there was a huge child plague, and that Max publicly defended it on many occasions, which is not at all proven by the Mutahar screenshots. And in fact, the only piece of evidence that Critical presented in his first video seems to indicate that there wasn't a child plague, but instead that someone joined one of Max's servers and posted illegal material which led to the deletion of said Discord. And if you take a step further and start looking into other posts that date back to that event, you find that what seems to have happened was that a group of people raided Max's server and kept creating new accounts to evade bans and post CP, which led to Max eventually deleting it. And finally, not providing enough evidence to support his claims about the cheese pizza problem on Max's server. Critical's accusation, how he described it, implies that evidence for Max defending CP should be relatively easy to get. However, while it seems impossible to obtain any of that, it's almost ironically extremely easy to find proof that contradicts the claims. By this point, it would literally make more sense to say that Max defending CP was an obscure secret that only Critical seemed to know about, because otherwise, and I can't stress this enough, the complete lack of evidence is an absurd phenomenon that needs to be studied. With that being said, Max did try to come back to YouTube after disappearing following Charlie's second upload. In 2022, he tried to make another channel and Discord server, but that didn't pan out well for him, as he failed to regain the influence he had rightfully lost. Max and Million Miss will forever go down in YouTube history as the perfect example of what happens when you give a narcissistic troll too much power and influence. From raiding other creators' streams with hopes of getting them banned, to creating an extremely toxic community that became the breeding ground for some of the most deprived acts the internet has ever known. Max might have started with the noble intention of having a good laugh on YouTube and making a name for himself. But once he achieved that goal, ego and toxicity took over. A 1 million subscriber army of kids and nothing better to do gave Max the mindset that he could do whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. But sadly for him, his joyride eventually came to a painful end. Today, Max is still trying to recover the power and notoriety by uploading lackluster trolling videos. However, it's highly unlikely he'll ever make a proper comeback, and his view counts speak for themselves, with him now struggling to get even 50,000 views on a video. Similar to Maximilian Mess, Pokimane has also left a trail of victims. Click the video on screen to find out about them now.